Please raise your right hand, Mr. Sam, and then repeat, I swear by Almighty God that I will tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. I swear by Almighty God that I'll tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. This committee has been blocked and tackled at every turn with calculated and deliberate suppression of key evidence. Even Parliament, <coughs> our Scottish Parliament, has been defied despite two votes demanding the external legal advice, legal advice that the public have paid for. My evidence has been published, then subsequently censured by intervention of the Crown Office, evidence that they had previously agreed was lawful. And even today, I appear before you under the explicit threat of prosecution if I reveal evidence for which the committee has asked. Not to fulfill my oath and tell the truth, the whole truth and nothing but the truth would be a contempt. But Crown Office says it might lead to prosecution. People should just stop and think for a moment about that. The ability of any witness before any parliament to tell the truth and fulfill their oath is effectively being questioned by the Crown Office. The truth is those that now demand to see evidence have invested a great deal of time and public money in attempting to hide that evidence. When this inquiry ends, neutered though it may be, I'll consider that I've discharged my duty as a citizen and as a former First Minister. It will then be for others to consider their own positions in the light of what this committee decides.